Hello all, welcome to my channel on Android. Today I will demonstrate you the concept of frame by frame animation. Let's start with the project. First of all, you can click on start new Android studio project. Then you can choose the empty activity and then you can click on next. Let's, let me give the name of the project that is frame by frame animation demo. What is frame by frame animation? Frame by frame animation is a technique that creates the illusion of movement by making changes between the keyframe. For example, if you have so many uh, number of uh, similar number of images, but with the different gesture, you can change that all particular uh, images into one image view and you can switch all the images one by one, one, one by one and it creates the illusion of the movie. That concept is known as a frame by frame animation. Let me show uh, first of all in Windows. See here in my folder, I have three images. This three images is uh, looking similar, but actually the gesture is different. You can just uh, click uh, enter over here. So it will open in photos. Then you can just change the image. If you frequently change this image, it looks like it is a one kind of frame by frame animation, right? It is look like an animation. So I want to uh, develop the similar application into Android. Let's start with the application first of all <coughs> we need to define the design portion so let's start with the design portion here you can click on show layout <coughs> decoration then you can uh, remove this hello world then first of all we need a image over here uh, here you can select the image view and you can put it into the center uh, you can choose the background and you can click on ok once it is done you can define the width and height let me click over here that is the infer constraint then here you can define the width for example width is 300 db and height that is also 300 db uh, once it is done the first of all uh, you can uh, you need to take care about what you can uh, remove this source compact once you remove this source compact then you can take the two buttons over here one is for the start animation Another is for the stop animation. Start and stop both. Uh, here you can click on infer the constraint. Once it is over, <coughs> uh, whenever user click on this button, I want to start the animation. So let me give the name of this button that is start. And let me give the name of this button that is stop. Whenever user click on this uh, uh, button number two, I want to stop the animation the button id is button number two and here button id is button and here the id is image view i want that in that particular image i want to perform all this first of all you can copy all these three images so control a control c and then you can move to your android studio and you can paste over here in resource drawable folder once you paste all these images over here now my first task is here in main activity we can start with the coding so what i am doing see here first of all we need an instance of animation drawable animation drawable is the class which allows us to add the frame one by one right so let me first create the frame for example i am creating the first frame i am getting the data from my drawable folder so what i am writing here resources dot get drawable is the function in which two argument is required which image you want so our r dot drawable dot image one and do you want to apply any theme no theme so you can just write here null you can copy the same thing and you can paste for three times why because i want a three frames over here so frame two and frame 3 frame 2 having the image number 2 and frame 3 that is having the image number 3 now uh, this 3 frame is created animation drawable is created now you can add this all this 3 uh, frame into your animation drawable object so you can simply write ad dot add frame here there are basically two parameters are there which frame you want to add so i am just writing here if, uh, frame 1 
for how much duration you want uh, the duration is in millisecond so i am writing here for 200 millisecond it means the uh, 1 by 5 portion of the second so for 200 milliseconds this frame will be available in this animation drawable let me add another frame i am adding another frame that is frame number 2 i want this is for the uh, 300 milliseconds uh, let me add another frame that is frame number 3 uh, th this for the 200 milliseconds you can change the duration that uh, as and when it is required for you you can add the number of frame also right once it is available in animation drawable now our task is what our task is to put all these images over here in this image view right so uh, simple you can just write image view dot set background is the function or you can write this background is equal to animation drawable animation drawable having all this frame all this frame are available for particular duration right so whenever you execute this application definitely the frame will be available over here but the issue is what until and unless you don't start your animation drawable dot start function the animation will not be moved over here but you can check that see here uh, the first image is available over here but if you click on start it will not start the images so uh, very simple you can write the code on your button whenever user click on this button i want to start the animation so you can just write uh, call the function that is ad dot start and whenever user click on this second button that is button number two i want to stop the animation so you can call the function that is ad dot stop let's just check it is working properly or not whenever user uh, loading this project what it will do it will uh, whenever you click over here start what it doing see it just switching the image one two and three and continuously it is working on right if you want for only one sort then you can call the function for one sort is equal to true and it will uh, move all the images only one time right it will start until and unless you click on stop if you click on stop see the uh, rotation of image is being stopped Again, you can click on start and it will start the rotating of your images. What actually the frame by frame animation is? It is a technique that creates the illusion of movement by making the changes between the keyframe. In short, it means displaying the series of images, one image after another that creates the illusion like a movie. This type of concept is known as a frame by frame animation that's it from my side thank you for listening me if you like this video then please like share and subscribe to my channel thank you all